The Try Guys were four guys that did uh, viral videos uh, for BuzzFeed where they would try to do things. They uh, would have all these videos, and then they got bigger than BuzzFeed. They left BuzzFeed, took the name, the IP, all of that stuff, and made their own channel. They're beloved on the internet. They're like sort of quirky. Um, They are just well, really well liked. And there's a guy on there named Ned, and Ned was married to this woman who he also made content with. It was super well loved, and then he cheated on his wife with a producer of the Try Guys. And they've had to fire him from the Try Guys. It's really like imploded them and it's big on the internet. Did they fire him for sleeping with the producer? Yeah. Why? Because it was like he was her boss. It was like an inner... He says it's consensual. Like he says this. It's a consensual relationship that I made a mistake on. He's trying to make a new video. Let me try to sleep with my producer. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) But the crazy thing is it blew up internally first and they were like, oh, you can't be banging like our producers like you gotta go yeah. and then he was caught in public at a bar with the girl yeah. and someone took a picture like yo this is the guy that makes wife content and then posted online is like why is he kissing this girl and, and then he makes wife content like he's like basically monopolized his relationship or like, I guess like commodifies his relationship where he's like I'm the wife guy and I love my wife and me and her we do TikToks together and this is my wife and like our every relationship every single is- time yep. every single motherfucking is that fair to say? time yeah that's yeah. very fair to say the harder they fall, bro. It's like what that Adam Levine fucking thing. There was that picture that came out of him. It was real long time ago, but he was at some concert. He had a blue shirt on that just said feminist on it. Yeah. And it's just like every single time, the more perfect they seem, the more piece of shit they are. <laughs> and people are so afraid for some reason to just be a piece of shit openly when we like pieces of shit. Yeah. They make us feel more than normal. They make us feel okay. That's why I love Michael Blackson. He's like, bro, I, I have get, I get girlfriends sometimes. Yeah. Me and my wife, we have a thing. We're yeah. cool. Like that's what he does. Yeah. But he's just like super open about it. He's like, yeah, I don't have to bless. hide this. God this is what bless. I'm doing. Yeah. God bless. But it is it is wild that he I don't know. I'm like, sleeping with your producer, yeah, I get. That's worth getting him out of there. But Wait, then, no, why? Why? Because, because she works power there. dynamic, they're yeah, cops, dynamic. it's a thing. No, 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 I don't subscribe to this. I don't like this idea that humans are not capable of making decisions. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what that is. I understand you have to like set up rules to protect all these people because there are these bad actors that are willing to take advantage of the people that are working for them. Mm-hmm. But I also think that you can develop a consensual and loving relationship with somebody you work for or somebody that works for you. So it sucks that we're basically like eliminating those relationships. And I bet if you look back like in time, the majority of fucking human beings have probably met their wife by working with them. Huge, it's, it's a it, huge percentage. Huge. Like, huge like, conflict of interest. Don't you think it kind of throws the vibe off a little? There's also like declare What creates laws. the vibe? Yeah, yeah, like, you you're both passionate about the same thing. You both have all that in common. You're spending so much time together. You're building like a real foundation of relationship based on like mutual interests. But if their brand is built on being good guys and you're out here sleeping with, with someone We're not else talking about that. We're okay. talking about- What we're you're talking about, about though? Consensual relationships to, in the workplace. If you go to HR, you have to close the relationship, he's a fucking then hypocrite. you're fine. There's no question. Yeah. If you go to HR and disclose the relationship, then you're fine. But yeah. what, what Mark is saying, I think you were saying is that in, the relationship itself is null and void because of the power dynamic that exists. No, no, no. no. Like, they can have a consensual relationship, but I get why they would want to either change her around or if he was not disclosing the relationship, terminate his employment. Yeah, so, oh, you're, what you're saying is... The, he's being sneaky because he's cheating on his wife, so he can't say, I'm in a relationship with the producer. And so, so he when they go to HR. So then they find yeah, out. Clear. And then it. I get why they're determining his employment because he's not disclosing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, he's a hypocrite for being wife guy, while also doing it. But at the same time, it's like it's like one of those people that like find their fucking shtick and now they're like a prisoner of the shtick. Yeah. Like he's yeah. not wife guy as much as he like he's not in love with his relationship as much as he is in love with making money being yeah, wife guy. Like fans, yeah, yeah. Being in love with himself. And yeah. it's also scummy on the girls' part. It's like, yo, you know this guy's got a wife. Yeah. You see her every week. Like yeah. she comes in. They make content together. Now here's yeah. a question. He's been fired, obviously. Power dynamics, many things well, happen. Uh and the reason he's fired. There's not word if the, as of, from what I know at this exact moment, if the producer has been fired also. She shouldn't get fired. Yeah, why, why, a, wait, why, why not? Why, 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 why? She also broke the rules, right? No. Only the yeah, she's senior, senior yeah, person? The senior yeah. person breaks the rule. Interesting. Yeah, because the power dynamic. What if he pressured her to <laughs> sleep with him? Consent can't exist with power yeah. vacuums. It's like, hey, if you want to keep saying. your job, you have to suck my dick. I think that's a bit black and white. Isn't it? Consent no. cannot exist without a, with a power dynamic. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
Well, there's it's, always a power dynamic. That's yeah. the other thing. It's like even if they won't work for this somebody, there's always going to be a power dynamic. Yeah, it exists. Yeah. So then disclose it. Yeah. I mean, if we really want to talk about it, like the power dynamic is is wildly skewed towards women. Like we cannot have sex with them unless they say okay. It is illegal. That's not 50-50. That is zero one hundred. If yeah, a woman marries a rich have guy, to want to have if a rich guy dates a, a beautiful girl, is he taking advantage of the power dynamic? The fact that I'm a rich guy, one hundred percent. He take advantage of the access to all the things he different had. Like, of yeah, course. Yeah, but we're saying in the workplace is different. Uh, in the workplace, I, somebody can yeah, hold I, your I, job over you, and that's the that's, that's, fair. Listen, that's, that's fair. fucked up. And yeah. there's and there are guys that do that, and that's fucked up, and that's horrible. And I think the real mess up here is. When women, and this is the Weinstein shit, yeah. it's like when women complain about this and they cover it up and protect the person in power, like that, these people right here that are protecting the guy who's fucked up mm -hmm. destroys consensual work relationships because now that woman has no recourse to keep her job and protect herself. Mm -hmm. And then every other girl in the company's like, I better not say her off, I'm gonna get fired. But if every time the woman complained, they just fired the fucking boss who broke the goddamn rules, mm -hmm. then or we the can have consensual, yeah. sorry? Yeah, or it could happen the other. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Or, 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 but we we can have consensual work relationships because anytime it was uncomfortable or a dude crossed the line or a woman crossed the line, and that was complained about and that person got fired, everybody's free. But now we have to build all these fucking rules because these assholes in HR and like the the shareholders in these fucking board meetings are going, hey, we can't get rid of this fucking CEO. We can't really get a Weinstein. He's really good at picking movies. So protect that motherfucker, even though he's a rapist. It's like all those people should be going down with Weinstein. And yes. with those, one hundred percent, one hundred, bro. One hundred. If a girl says, "Hey, this guy fucking raped me," and you go, "Well, don't you want to work in Hollywood?" Blah 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 blah. You are complicit oh. in that rapist. No, right? yeah. the guy that the girl went to. Yeah, oh, that's what okay. I'm saying. Like the but guy the at girl HR. Shouldn't. No, the girl no, no, shouldn't. no, 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 no. Like the I'm girls saying, who kept quiet. No, the, no, no, okay. no, no, no. The people the guys that covered who up. Quiet the women. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Or the women who quiet the women, but the ones who protect the fucking rapist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like that whole. It's like the rapists and the protectors are the people that make it so uncomfortable for the, uh, I guess, the, the women or even the men that are uh, is subordinate. Is that the word? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it's, you're completely powerless in that situation. Yeah. And now you can't even raise within the company because now you're terrified these people don't have your If protection. you're comfortable being vocal, there's not the power dynamic being exploited nearly as much. Thank you for articulating that. But that's if the systems that you're talking to are even willing to hear a complaint. To his point, exactly. that's the problem. Yeah. yeah. The problem is that because like he said earlier, most, not most, a huge percentage of relationships begin in the workplace. A lot of those relationships before this, a lot of those relationships, there was a power dynamic, like just in the sense that one person was a boss and one person was not a boss. So if we have an environment where this subordinate person is comfortable being vocal, if they're, if this person is making them uncomfortable, then that shit is all, we can just have workplace But do you feel like most workplaces probably favor a really talented, powerful rapist? Yes, they do. Over, and that's like, why you should punish the people who it's help cover up. up for that guy, yeah. that powerful man or woman. That person that helps cover up should be just as culpable. But you're saying it's like, oh, it's those companies that fuck it up forever. I'm like, I think that's probably just most organizations. It's those people that cover it up, that fuck it up forever. I, I, to be honest with you, I think the system that's set up <laughs> is by the shareholders or by the protectors. It's like, why don't we just make it so nobody can fuck anybody here, and then our CEO won't fuck it up by screwing some of the employees and then pissing them off. So we're just going to make this blanket rule to protect our real golden goose, which is the CEO, Maybe. not his secretary. And if it does both, they're like, yeah, but... Yeah, and it's they don't probably just an easier way to legislate. Yes. I don't have to get into the nitty-gritty and waste fucking time with the, who's right and who's wrong. You didn't disclose, you're fired. Yeah. 